Please unpack Hollow Earth for me because you said it, and now I want to know everything about it. Well, Hollow Earth compare it it pales in comparison to Space is Fake. Space is Fake is the greatest conspiracy thing to dive into online. It's amazing. It's so fun. How do you? How do you? They think there are think lights in the sky. Like, like these kind of lights. I don't know. There's a firmament. There's like a glass ceiling above it all. Nothing can go out there because there's nothing there. Didn't the Earth is flat? Didn't somebody land on the dark side of the moon the other day? China. China, China probe, did. I think. I think it was India. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Correct. 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 Um. Yeah. It's uh I don't think Earth I, I, the space can't be fake. Right? It's amazing how many people are into it. If you just Google hashtag space is fake, you'll be taken to these random Instagram accounts. Now and here's the thing about it. I don't know if they're real people, but I don't know if it matters. Cause it starts off it could start off as like some Russian troll. Like they there's these things called like the internet research agency is one of them these troll farms you know you know about these no but it makes okay. sense Rene DeRest reported on it and some people a lot of people have reported on it but what it is is they have these places where there's thousands and thousands of accounts and they set up like they there's there's images of it where you see like rows of cell phones that are connected to this network mm -hmm. and they have these people that have these the access to this these accounts and they're posting things that are really stupid they're posting things that are ridiculous conspiracy theories they're posting things blaming democrats for certain things and blaming republicans for certain things at one point in time facebook 19 of their top 20 Christian sites were run by Russian troll farms. It's genius, like social sabotage at a very high level. Holy and, shit. And so they're, they're interacting with people constantly online. So if you see people fighting on Twitter, if you say like a controversial post goes up about anything mm. and with foreign policy, trans rights, b abortion, Second Amendment, anything. Yeah. If you go into one of those popular posts, you'll see all these like crazed right wing and crazed left wing opinions. Occasionally you click on them and if you go to like I should say occasionally, oftentimes you'll click on them and you go to a, a page that seems oddly unhuman. It seems fake. There's, it doesn't seem like a, a real personality behind it. And you go into it and you see that they're always engaging on these very specific issues and they're always being like very confrontational. And, and it kind of discourages people that disagree with them from interacting with them. And it kind of encourages people that love to fight with people to fight back. So you get all this interaction. And these people do it to steer conversations and get people to lose faith in democracy, lose faith in the police's ability to protect you, lose faith in whether or not we can unite racially or sexually, like whether we can be a, a, a harmonious country. It's like designed to, to keep conflict going. It literally can accelerate conflict, like gasoline on a fire, and that you can engineer to a some certain extent. I don't know what percentage, but imagine. Imagine it's 5%. You can 5% through these trolls engineer conversations in the public. And you could get people to, to do a lot of really dumb shit. Like if you wanted to get people to believe that the, the earth is flat, or if you wanted to get people to believe that the earth is hollow and there's dinosaurs inside of it and aliens live in there, you could get people to believe that. And then they would start fighting about it online. And then you could get people to believe that, you know, there's been a bunch of them. There's been a bunch of them that are, that are like mainstream propaganda things, like the Russia collusion hoax with Trump. It took us like three years to figure that out. But now everybody knows. It didn't really happen the way they were saying it was happening every day on the news. If, if that can take place with like mainstream media, how much of like what people are fighting about is like engineered? Oh, man. How much of it? That might be the most evil thing I've ever heard in my entire life, to just control and design chaos. You definitely are encouraging chaos. Like if people, if people can still choose to engage or not engage, and that's where things get interesting.
That's terrible, man. I mean, the internet is already such a terrible, dark, mean place without that. You add that fuel on top of it, oh my god, it's no wonder people are depressed. What would really be scary is if you were forced to interact with people on the internet. Like, oh. if the internet, if there was like a, a, a social, like a contract that you had to make where you had to give your opinions on certain issues, agree or mm. disagree. Gender affirming care is essential to a child, you know, like that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, ooh, agree, like a certain amount of logged right. hours of agree opinions. Agree or, or disagree, we have to move to 100% renewables by mm. 2030 at all costs. Agree or disagree, you know, oh. voter ID is racist. Agree or disagree, the Fuck. climate change is real and the science supports it. Agree or disagree, vaccines are the most essential technology the medical science has ever created. Agree or disagree. What's crazy we is need people... to support the, the war in Ukraine, and the United States has never done anything to encourage Russia invading Ukraine, including helping NATO move arms closer to their border. Agree or disagree? What's terrifying Vaccines people... are safe and effective. <laughs> oh Agree or disagree? Imagine if you had to do that every couple of months and go over that, and that, that's how people decided... Yeah. Whether or not you could go to the grocery store today or you had to wait till Saturday or whether or not you could buy a plane ticket ever Whether you know like the thing is now people feel like voluntarily they need to voice their opinions yeah. on those things, right? It's like for, for what at the end of the day for what?